Hey guys, what's going on? Eric Tech Stuffs. Got a random black bag in the mail. That's always fun. But I think I kind of know what this is. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Well, there's no diligent way to get into these. I'll just go ahead and do that. Now, I think this is a Melahite receiver. If I'm not mistaken. That is tiny if it is. That off. Oh, it's so tiny, I can't even read this instructions on it. What does this say? Warning due to the trial version of the machine, the battery may be overused. Hmm. Pay attention to charging the battery or choose to use the registered version. Oh, what does that mean? Are they battery locking this? Look at that. Oh. What is this, like an iPhone? Come on. You, you don't get the registered version, it's going to be terrible battery. So yeah, this is Melhide. Now, I'm not sure what version I got. It may be a version under version 4. Now, it does come with a nice SMA telescoping antenna. Oh, USB-C, we're in good shape there. I like that. A whole bunch of, oh wow. Wow, guys. Look at this. This comes with some freaking good instructions. This thing here, yeah, it's all inclusive. Okay, so yes, it's not a version 4, but this here has our uh, SMA antenna right there. Nice 3.5 inch screen. We have our headphone jack out. Our volume there, USB C, and our changing in power. There's our speaker in the back. Now the version 4 has them on the side and stereo. But, yeah, this is basically, since this is a, you can set this up. My short wave radio. But the first thing I always like to do, it has an internal power on it with that USB, since it does have one there. I conveniently have one close by right here. We'll go ahead and plug this in. Well, we're back. I had this charge up. Unsure exactly how much I'm going to include of the old video. I just did an unboxing of this. Went over the general features. But it, yeah, it has SMA uh, jack on the side here. This is the Chinese knockoff. Of course it is. It comes with the test firmware on it. Again, headphone jack, speaker. Uh, you can select it so you either have both on or a headphone. Uh, we have USB-C and it does come with that. comes with that uh, red plug which came on the SMA so that's good. And then we have our uh, basically our VFO and our step selections and our SMD power button. It's basically just drilled th right through so that could be an issue. Use it a lot. Oh gosh. Well, we already have it on. Let me turn the volume down on this here. So, yeah, I'm on uh, wide FM. So, we'll just tune it in real quick to. Uh... All right, that's enough. We can talk about all that because, uh, yeah, you get struck for like seconds of stuff now. It's ridiculous. I. Just going over this radio and showing what it does but yeah there is a limitation on the software and if we tap over here isn't that cool you can tap over to there scroll through this you tap over to over here let's get back over to here let's get back over there we go so our, we have a uh, we'll make sure I have a volume all the way down does it matter nice uh, spectrum display I mean for the price of this thing it's pocket and has a battery in it. Of course, the battery, as they said, 
it has a discharge issue and will cause oh discharge there we go again Aaron. grow up everybody let's go anyway uh, yeah so the limitation on this is 50 kilohertz to 200 megahertz with the test software oh, are we gonna get up there Eric? yeah so 200 is our limit we can't get past that so there is software version available and what I'm going to put on here since this is a bootleg this is actually a copy so someone took the software the test software and started mass producing these this is not a melahite uh, or melahite receiver whatsoever because it do wouldn't ha it doesn't have the knobs and just has one mono speaker on it but I think there's a possibility to add the other speaker to this as well for stereo but it's backfiring so that's not really uh, conducive but I mean it's pretty cool I gotta say off the bat it's pretty cool except it gets at 200 megs but the issue I have with these is I just uh, want the extra because if you get the unregistered firmware rather you can get uh, all the way up to 2 gigahertz of course there's a gap and that's due to the actual uh, chips used in this but it's like 295 to like 390 it's uh, I think it's 10 kilohertz all the way up to uh, 200 megahertz then we're gonna go from there it has that gap due to hardware and software limitations and mostly hardware the chip they're using it'll skip the uh, 2 to 300 megahertz military band but it picks back up at 400 goes all the way to 2 gigahertz so yeah this is kind of cool it's a multi-mode so it's AM FM upper and lower side bed and everything else like that that's kind of cool but we need to upgrade this to uh, full coverage I mean that's kind of something we need to do if there is a way to do it and this has the uh, options built into it that's the fun thing about this is what I kind of always do is unlock everything and get everything I just want full functionality full extreme functionality yeah, but everything I got I mean I just if it has limitations eh, I'll deal with them if they're reasonable but otherwise it's inside this already I want to get to 2 gigahertz hey what's going on back again with this uh, heads and tails of this situation so what is this this is actually the Chinese clone of the knockoff of the Melhite DSP-1 receiver SDR receiver only so this one here came with test uh, firmware and that test firmware uh, is freely available online of course it comes with those limitations I don't like having those limitations so went around and I actually found some software and it definitely changed the whole layout of this whole thing. So I'm going to wake this up for a second here. Look at that hard uh, menu back where it should be. We've got audio. These menus take a, take a second to get back and forth. But yeah, we have a lot of different options in there. We have different visuals as well. Come on, I hit the visual button. You saw it. There it is. So you can change brightness. And... Um, Let's actually turn that sleep time off. Can I? Can I? Maybe 115. That's fine. Uh, so, yeah, that, uh, we have uh, different modes that you can just go right to there now. It comes with a CW encoder. So, when you're on uh, ham bands, you can go ahead and throw a CW encoder on there and get uh, familiar with CW. Uh, and uh, you can watch that come across the screen as well. That's pretty cool. And then we just have a band which is set up as a, kind of like a memory bank band. Come on. Come on, band. Sometimes you got to hit these a couple of times. Sometimes it doesn't want to work at all. But there we go. We got, uh, yeah, 10 memory channels there pre programmed. And you can edit that as well, edit colors and stuff like that. Just one thing I want to show just on this you can change the layout of this. Uh, this right now is set up as a waterfall. And hold it down once okay there's one different mode oh come on didn't change there we go next level this one maybe a little harder to see but this is like an old uh, old old radio dial on here so when you scroll 
jeez. Like I said, you gotta you gotta get used to these. But yeah, once it gets on frequency like that, it'll uh, highlight it. But yeah, man, old radio dial. I like that. I like that feature. I think we do it one more time. We're back to our little waterfall situation. We're not on a frequency we know. Now the other limitation we had, 200 megahertz. There we are. And then the squirrel wheel didn't work past that. Well, this one does. Doesn't it? Yes. Look at that. So 200, and it goes past it. So it, the limitations, I think 253, something like that. But yeah, you can put in uh, 300, it should not have. Yes, out of range. 400, out of range for 3,002. <laughs> Let me put that, so delete button's real nice. It's actually responsive. 400 megs. And let's see what we go down to 249. So yeah, it's uh, yeah it's 2 250, and then uh, jumps to 450. But then we can go all the way up 1900 megahertz. So yeah, 1.9 gigs, at least a little bit. I'm just playing around with this. I got to get uh, more familiar with this thing. But yeah, this is a cool one to pick up. It is mono speaker on that, so if you do want to get the front facing one, but yeah, it can be unlocked pretty simple and easy. So yeah, if you want to get a Melhide receiver or the Chinese knockoff, something that looks like this with that SMA on the side and the rotary buttons right here, then yes, you can update these. Cool, cool. I'm happy with this at this time. This is not the latest firmware, but it's good enough for all the frequency coverage. So yeah, cool little cheap, easy radio and you can get one and do the same thing. All right, 73.